Hey, it's Zombie with Weird Girls, and I'm here with Jordan from Capture Dimensions. And he's going to tell us what this whole awesome process is like. Can you tell us a little bit about Capture Dimensions? We exist to digitize the world, and that's really our goal in, in the highest quality we possibly can. Behind us, we have our photogrammetry studio. It's our human scanning 3D capture rig. Uh, in there, we have 80 DSLRs. We shoot all of them simultaneously. And it gives us a really nice full surround image of a person. We get a couple gigapixels. We put all that together, and we've got a really nice 3D model. And the majority of what we do is 3D print people in full color. So you're telling me that people can get action figures of themselves? Absolutely. Yeah, action figures, uh, cosplayers, that's a really, it's a cool thing to do. If you put a lot of work into a costume and uh, all your blood, sweat, and tears, get it commemorated. You can get scanned and you've got a little uh, mini version of yourself that you can show your kids and grandkids and all your friends and make them jealous. What else do you guys do besides action figures? infinite possibilities. You know, Oculus Rift, they're really leading the way with uh, virtual reality and there's a lot of other stuff coming out in that realm. Um, VR, you can have an immersive experience where you've got digital real life assets and we're just at the very beginning of all that. It's going to come along. Augmented reality is one that we do a lot of now where we can have a digital version of a person and share that in augmented reality where you kind of see them uh, really kind of in, uh, in the real world but in the the digital world at the same time. So Jordan, what are these figures made out of? Yeah, the majority of what we do for people is full color printing. It's uh, printed in sandstone. Uh, it's basically a gypsum powder uh, that's joined layer by layer. Primarily we use 3D systems printers for that, um, but sandstone. So it's a, a little breakable. It's not really, not action figure material. Uh, if you knock it off the table, it's probably gonna shatter a little bit, uh, but it's really good for a keepsake. And then we also do some stuff in PLA plastic and in some other plastics where we can do uh, a little more durable, but most of that's monocolor. What's the process like for making a color 3D print? Yeah, a lot of people ask us if our prints are painted, but they're actually printed in full color. Uh, and the cool thing we have here is uh, we're able to build this really cool model, and then we have all this image data from every angle. We're able to wrap that back around the model as texture, and it's photo real because we've got you know 18 megapixel images from all angles. Uh, and it gives us a really, really nice result, and it's perfect for 3D printing in full color. Well, I see you have this booth here. Is it cool if we look inside and see how you guys do all this? Definitely, yeah. Okay, Jordan, so we're inside of your booth. Can you kind of explain what's going on in here? We have a full surround of cameras. There are 80 DSLRs in here. Um, the objective is to get every angle of a person that we can from multiple angles and be able to really capture every piece of geometry and every nuance to what's going on and every emotion on somebody's face. Uh, so we get all that data, a uh, couple of gigapixels. We shoot it all simultaneously, so it's just like having your picture taken. You don't have to stand perfectly still or anything, so we can get really cool action shots and nice emotions and that sort of thing. Uh, we take all that data and then the process of photogrammetry, if you know where all the cameras are in space, you can ascertain where each of these little points of commonality between the images are. So we compare several million little points of data between the images and turn that all into a really dense point cloud that creates our high poly mesh that we build. A person comes into the studio, they just stand right here on the stage and uh, as long as they stay within about a meter uh, area, uh, we can capture anything basically. So we do stuff with props and often we'll have people that uh, the props will be a little too intricate for us to, to print perfectly or capture perfectly, so they can mime a prop and we can add a sword later or that sort of thing. So Jordan, this is pretty awesome. Do you think that maybe I could get scanned today? We could probably make that work. All right, let's do it. again for letting me do this. This is so cool. If somebody else wanted to get an action figure of themselves, where can they go? Absolutely. Uh, so we, on the net, we've got CapturedDimensions.com. People can check us out. Uh, Facebook, uh, Captured Dimensions, and Twitter, at Captured. And thanks a bunch. You were an awesome subject. You're going to make a really cool action figure. Yay, thank you. And again, if you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. We have all kinds of awesome geeky stuff we know you want to see. So hit the subscribe button. From RTX 2014, see ya.